People think it's easy for me to stand in front of a camera or in front of an audience and tell my story, my story of a mental and emotional wellness, my story of a breakdown several years ago. In reality, it's not easy, but it is so important for us to tell our stories, for me to tell my story, because so many of us have struggled with deep trauma and depression and anxiety and panic attacks. We go through deep darkness in our lives at times. And if we don't talk about these things, we will never get through them together. You see, several years ago, people would look at my life and think that I had everything together. I had a beautiful wife, two amazing kids, a career, a high school soccer coach, uh, I'm an athlete, I've traveled the world in my humanitarian career, but in reality, there was a lot of things going on inside of me that I didn't know what to do with and that no one else really knew about. And everything went away. And I found myself after an emotional and mental breakdown in an emergency room because I did not trust myself to make it through the night. I was gonna hurt myself. And then two days later, I was in a trauma treatment center in Santa Fe, New Mexico, where I was diagnosed with complex post-traumatic stress disorder. You see, the things in my childhood, the things that I had grown up with, the traumatic events, the abuse, all kinds of things had finally, as they explained to me, caught up with me. And because I had not dealt with them in my life, they were finally dealing with me in some very catastrophic ways. So coming out of that diagnosis, coming out of that trauma treatment center, I've since worked on rebuilding my life. And one of my reflections is that most people do not have access to the same treatment and the same care that I received. I was fortunate to get the help and care I need that without, seriously, I do not know if I would still be here. And most people don't have that access. There should not be any barriers to the care and help that people need when it comes to their mental and emotional well-being. And so myself and some other great people have co-founded this organization called A Way Through. We want to create access so there are no barriers for people to get the mental and emotional care that they need. And we also want to break stigma. And that's why we tell our stories, our stories of truth and reality about the struggles we are going through. We want you to join this movement. If you are someone who needs help, you can join by getting help. Click on our link on our website to get help. If you are a therapist and a provider out there, join our movement by giving help, by connecting your expertise to the need that is out there. And if you are someone like me who has loved ones and family and friends who need help and you just want to support this movement, please gift help by donating to this cause, to this movement, so that we can change our communities, so that we can change the conversation around mental health, so we can understand together that it is okay to not be okay. And it is okay, more than okay, to get the help that you need, that we need and deserve, so that we can have better communities, better families, better relationships, indeed a better world.